Most people who drink wine have seen the weird drops that form around the side of the glass. Traditionally, they're called tears or legs of wine. But what most people don't realize is that if you watch patiently, these drops are actually moving around. They're falling, forming, and refalling over and over and over again. So the obvious question is, what the hell is going on here? First, you have to understand one thing about surface tension. And a neat way to see this is by pouring water onto the surface of a plate and then grinding pepper flakes onto the water's surface. Now, the idea of surface tension is that fluids always pull on other fluids nearby, but the strength of that pull depends on the fluid. So some fluids have high surface tension, others have low surface tension. In our case, we just have water, so the surface tension is the same everywhere. Each pepper flake feels the pull of surface tension, but feels it equally in every direction, so nothing moves. But if we dip a stick in laundry detergent, which has a lower surface tension than water, and then touch the stick to the center of the plate, the pepper runs away. And it runs away because of the difference in surface tension. The higher surface tension water on the edge of the plate pulls harder than the detergent in the center. Okay, but what does this have to do with wine? Well, wine is made up of mostly water and alcohol. And alcohol, like laundry detergent, has a lower surface tension than water. And the other thing about most alcohols is that they evaporate really easily. And you know this if you've ever cleaned with rubbing alcohol, where you can see it evaporate off the surface almost immediately. All right. So you swirl some wine onto the side of a glass, and at first you might think this wine would just slip down the sides back in with the rest of the glass, but take a closer look. The alcohol will evaporate the fastest up at the top where the wine is thinnest. That means that compared to the rest of the wine, the wine at the top is actually less alcoholic and therefore has a higher surface tension. And just like with the pepper flakes, this difference in surface tension will actually pull wine up the side of the glass. Now imagine an escalator with a wall at the top so that the people just start bunching up with no place to go. And eventually a critical number of people builds up to form a ball and the ball rolls back down taking all the people with it. The same thing is going to happen with the wine. Wine is pulled up the side of the glass by the difference in surface tension but it has nowhere to go. So it bunches up until the drop is big enough that gravity pulls it back down. Of course with the wine it's a bit more complicated because it's two-dimensional, but the basic idea is the same. Wine is pulled up through a film so thin you can barely see it. Then, having nowhere to go, it forms a line around the edge of the glass. And instead of one drop, this thickening line forms many drops, much like drops falling from a line of paint on the wall. But unlike the drops of paint, which only fall once, the wine is continuously pulled back up, so the drops form over and over and over again. 